Hey, what is going on guys? It's me, your boy, Vivid Naz. So today we're looking at some more Kingdoms Under Fire 2 gameplay and have I got something cool to show you. I managed to learn how to, um, if you do care about this, I managed to learn how to turn off the HUD in the game. But what that does is it makes the game look better. I really don't know how, but it makes the game look better in turn making it run like utter shit. <laughs> So that was just me kind of toggling on and off, and you see it throughout the whole video. We're trying to see when I can use it, maybe get some cool sort of montages or something along the lines of that. Because match matching matching music to gameplay kind of kind of interests me. It's, it's pretty fun to do, and overall the satisfaction of having something cool, uh, something turn out pretty cool, is is pretty good. But to brief you, what's going on here? This is straight after the skirmish in the woods. If you haven't seen that annotation. Go watch that. After skirmish in the woods, we have to help the elves because half of the elves are corrupt motherfuckers and we need to go save them. So we're gonna go save them, but 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 by doing that, we have to clear out the temple, make sure we get the stone, and fuck some orcs up on the way. So we're just trying to clear there, and I want to point out something cool as well. I'm actually getting some new fucking troops. So the troops are kind of. Kind of, I, would, I would like to say they're kind of a rogue class, but way better than the crappy infantry I had. Those guys were just utterly terrible. They literally made <laughs> made life so much harder than it should have been. And these guys are already, I think it's like level 10, they're already the same as the infantry being at level 20, so plus you get more of the troops. But of course, my musketeers, still the main damage doers, they kind of kill everyone. And we're going on to sort of the, the, the main part. Um, where half of the action practically takes place. I've made sure to kind of try and cut out the boring bits or try and cut out the bits where I don't actually <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing. It's because in this game dude, there's no guides of it online. I can't really I've been trying to look, I've been trying to even translate some stuff, but god, Google Translate just doesn't help. <laughs> and from time to time you just see my troops doing backflips and it's utterly hilarious because they're just I don't know why we're doing backflips, because we don't really need to do backflips. And coming up to the, what I, what I consider to be literally the worst enemy type in this game, the gnolls. Now these guys, these guys don't take any shit, dude. These guys don't even stagger. And that's for me once again trying to toggle it off. But if you can see the sort of frame dipping, I, I, I don't know why, but it's... Um, I looked it up and it was pretty unoptimized, but this is what usually... The trailers from long ago looked like. Sorry about that. But what I think it what I think it was doing it was turning off the filler in the game as well because it does significantly look better. And I, I don't know if it's I, I really don't know what it is. I really want to find out why it looks better without the filler. Maybe because UI kind of kind of cluttered. I tried to reduce the size of the whole sort of UI. The the enemy, I mean the allied sort of my, my troops at the bottom. Tried to make a box smaller, my health smaller, skill slot smaller, minimap smaller, everything just sort of smaller, just to kind of condense it a bit. Come on, it's a bit too much. It's a bit too much. I'm defeating these null enemies, and I've kind of come to grips with probably should use the tactical mode more because it is just all around it's more beneficial, more beneficial to me. And as I said once again, these null enemies just, just, they just take so much, dude. If they don't, if they don't stagger. You can't knock them down, and they just do so much damage to you. So it's, it's kind of annoying because the only way to sort of counter them is by just using your muskets, or letting your muskets kill them, and, and you doing something else. I want to bring up a little, a little thing, a thingy to the viewers that actually enjoy Kingdoms Under Fire too. I was wondering. Um, one, um, do like a little in-depth video on how to get the game from the Malaysian servers. Two, do like a little guide on what I found out so far, like a little guide on how to get troops, how to train them, how to sort of craft things in the game, the sort of lines of that. I kind of cut that footage out because I kind of got lost, so don't mind that. We're back into the back to the courtyard. We have to just kind of clear out the troops here. And I, I was just sort of thinking, should I make a make a guide on this game? Can't really find one online, and it'd be, it'd be pretty cool to sort of make a guide. I've never really made a guide before, so we'll have to script that. 
And I, I, I try. I, I think I tried once to work off a script for for a video, and <laughs> that did not go too well. I, uh, scripts are are not for me, unless it takes me ages to learn them, which not for me. Um, for the War Age video, I kind of had a couple of notes written down, but even then, didn't really use the notes at all. I turn off the, the UI once more, but I'm so sure the game looks better. Please comment down below if you can see the difference because it may just be me, it may just be me because I'm used to the AI uh, UI being there all the time. I must admit the Scorpion troop is one of the coolest troops in this game and soon I just heard that they've added in Hawk units so you've got units that ride, that ride Hawks what does this game come to? but I'm only level 17, haven't hit max level I don't even know what max level is actually hopefully we'll we'll try and sort of power play through this game because I'm really enjoying it at the moment. One of the funnest games I've played, but it's kind of a shame that half of the game's crippled for me since I just think the server's dead. I really do think the server's dead in the Malaysian servers. I'm trying to, I'm running into people and I'm sort of typing in like, hey bro, want to play with me? I have no friends. And then they just ignore me and walk away. Sad, but it's the bitter truth about life. You have no friends. And the troll there at the back, it's not, it's not really doing much damage. I've gotten my troops to the point where they just don't take much damage from these sort of, sort of enemies. And it's, it's actually kind of interesting how the whole sort of troop progression works in this game. It's a really fun aspect of the game. It's probably one of the funnest. And then I probably encounter in this mission one of the biggest battles I've run into in this game. <laughs> it was, oh, I, th I think I was kind of played in the whole little mini montage of what, what's coming up, little preview of the video, as I like to call it. Playthrough. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've, I've lost the plot. I've completely lost the plot. I don't even know what I'm doing. But this guy, you might have seen him in one of my earlier videos, if you do actually follow the videos. But just look how awesome this part is. I just run in, use my number two ability, and just crush as many people as possible. And it is so satisfying, just seeing random numbers pop up, not having enough time to even read those numbers, because who even gives a shit? But yeah, slashing and dashing, destroying and... I can't think of anything that rhymes with destroying. But I'm just concentrating on the main bulk of the force at the moment, and I'll probably move on to no leader, but it's, it's, it's pretty late on, so... Don't give me credits on that one. And then, big mistake here is I didn't actually aim for the scorpions which are doing this massive AoE. And look at that, look how awesome that is. The game lets you do this, dude. It's such a shame. Come to the EU, boy. Come to EU. And I hope I can do some type of server transfer because I would hate to, to let all this go to waste. Because I think it is kind of confirmed that it is coming in 2016. And I, I don't know, it's kind of rough around the edges, I don't know how people will take to it being kind of rough around the edges. I can handle it because, you know, I've been waiting for this game for like five years, so I don't, I don't really care. I, I'm, just, I'm just enjoying what I'm getting. So the force is down. We managed to uh, recruit the Shaman Priests. They're part of my posse now. I hope I get to keep them forever. I'm not sure because the kind of high upkeep costs kind of keeps me away from them. There we go, you can just see my musketeers at the back just tearing through units. Every time they take a shot, you hear one of the <laughs> enemy destroyed. The verge pinging them down. And now I'm just concentrating on the leader. This guy, see that AoE? He literally took out 40 people doing that. <laughs> and you can just see my troops doing random backflips. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just watching this and I'm just seeing them doing random black backflips and it's just, it's, it's entertaining to watch because they're not dodging anything. <laughs> they're just doing it for effect and I tried to attack the scorpion by myself and just kind of gave up. <laughs> there is no point, let, let my troops do that work. And I thought I was being being a little bit smart here. I was like, oh, we're, we're, we're taking archer fire, I better go, better go take them out myself. Go up to take them out and then <laughs> I just said, I just attack and now I'm like, I'm doing no damage to these guys. Now all of a sudden, they all die and I realize my Muckleteers were just taking shots at everyone that I fight against. So I'm like, 
well, thanks for the support, but, you know, you're making me look bad here. Meant to be your leader. <laughs> Moving up to the second lot here, same thing happens again. Did you get utterly wet? Actually, no, I make sure that my um, musketeers are out of combat. Because you can see at the bottom, they're in melee range at the moment, and they're getting destroyed by them. But I let, well, once you're in this like tactical view, your character is being just cut, sort of automated. And I could not open that chest for some reason. Now, it is only the one scorpion left. <laughs> and once again, I try and run up head on the scorpion. See, show, showing them what I've got, you know. First time didn't go too well, and then a fucking meteor from the from the sky comes up and just destroys them. And then we've cleared the path to another dimension. So, if you want to see about where that other dimension goes to, why not subscribe? And as always, people, stay vivid. Thanks for watching.